Kartna Mulaj is dying too. Come back in style. Hey, been a while. Uh, this time around, I'll be talking about. Uh, this was given to me as a gift. It's a tall can of uh, damn fine coffee and cherry pie pale ale. Uh, from uh, Good Robot Brewing Company, which uh, I believe is a microbrewery down in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And this is a, uh, a coffee-flavored uh, pale ale. In the it, It's an unlicensed Twin Peaks beer. Like, the name Damn Fine Coffee and Cherry Pie. To my knowledge, there is absolutely no cherry flavoring to this. And uh, this was given to me as a gift from my friend Stuart. Uh, they have two varieties of, uh, or there's two cans anyways. And uh, the one that he had, that he was telling me about, uh, had uh, Dougie Jones on it, like sticking the f uh, fork in an electrical outlet from uh, Twin Peaks The Return Season 3. This one has a lovely illustration, get a little closer to the camera, of a cup of coffee there, and then uh, there's a telephone. Call for help, I guess, I don't know. And then over here we've got, uh, well, I, I can only assume that's supposed to be Leo saying, uh, new shoes. He's got a kazoo in his mouth, sunglasses on, and you can see the little owl cave uh, symbol, the Judy symbol, I guess, on that party hat he's wearing. So, uh, Stuart gave this to me, and he uh, requested that I do a video on it, so I'm gonna drink it. The only other coffee-flavored beer I had was something that Alexander Keats produced uh, in their kind of, like, microbreweries have been kind of blowing up in Nova Scotia lately, and uh, Keats produced a series of, uh, you know, I guess indie beers as indie as it can be coming from the biggest brewery in the province but it was called Lunenburg and it was coffee flavored I thought it was fine I haven't really had it since but uh, that's my only frame of reference for this uh, craft beers usually have kind of a chewing on hops kind of flavor to them, like a serious aftertaste, a terrible kick. Uh, this is relatively smooth. I'm not tasting a whole lot of coffee to it. There's a bitterness, but not explicitly coffee. The ingredients list says uh, water, malt, hops, yeast, and coffee. So I'm assuming there is like actual coffee bean grinds in the brewing process. Uh, I don't know, that's unremarkable, I guess is the word I would use to describe it. It's beer. That's something. Uh, I find the name curious, like, damn fine coffee, sure, but, and cherry pie, and especially the fact that it's in this bright red can, and it is a lovely looking design. Uh, I expected kind of a hint of cherry, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I guess I can't complain that it's not there, but it just seems strange that there is no, you know, anything of the sort. This is 5.1% alcohol. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what you're looking for out of this, Stuart. It's fine. It's not damn fine, but it's it's adequate. I couldn't see me putting a ton of these away, but it's not unpleasant. I mean, it's purely the novelty of it being a a Twin Peaks beer. When he first showed it to me, like just going off the uh, the design, it kind of has that look about it, like um, 
if you've ever seen any of David Lynch's, uh, like, actual artwork, his paintings or his drawings or something of that sort. Like, uh, a lot of the uh, Twin Peaks Season 3 merchandise. I kind of stopped wobbling in this chair, sorry. A lot of the Twin Peaks Season 3 merchandise has his designs, like, hand-drawn. And, uh, it's certainly an indie aesthetic. It looks good. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Five out of ten. Completely average. Not much of a craft beer guy, but... No aftertaste, which is nice. Good Robot Brewing Company, Halifax, Nova Scotia, yeah. That's goodrobotbrewing.ca, and they are at Good Robot Brew on the social medias if you uh, would like to investigate for yourself. But, uh... Yeah, brewed with low-point coffee. I've never had low-point coffee either. Uh, mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I'd call it adequate. I would drink it again, but I wouldn't buy it over one of my preferred um, brands kind of thing. Like I would, I would, uh, I would take Keith's or Blue or uh, Red Coat, uh, which is a bre a local brewery, uh, Red Ale. Um, yeah, no, it's kind of disappointing. I was expecting like Lunenburg had a much more distinctive coffee flavoring about it, which is kind of what I was expecting here, and uh, no such luck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've been meaning to rewatch Twin Peaks lately. It occurred to me that it's been two years since uh, season three aired, which was the most exciting like television event that I've ever uh, been alive for. Like, the lead-up to it, and uh, every single week, like, the buzz around the show was incredible. Every single episode was... Like, you never knew what to expect, and every time you walked away in, like, this kind of... There was, like, a little bit of frustration to it, but there was an excitement, a genuine excitement, and an appreciation for the art of it, and uh, it just kept getting better and better. And the ending, the way it ends, leaves you wanting for more in a way that, uh, I guess, Twin Peaks Season 2 did as well. But, uh, yeah, I'm very disappointed by this. I mean, I'm going to finish it, but, yeah. Yeah, I really don't know what I was expecting. Something better than this. <sighs> Probably not gonna upload this video. We'll see. Thank you for watching. Hello! <laughs>